Hi everyone, so today we're doing a what's in my bag video because I realized over the weekend that I need to do some serious cleaning and I thought wouldn't it be fun just to do a what's in my bag and sort of clean it out and kind of share with you guys the things that I keep in my purse because I gotta clean it so why not share it? We're friends, right? This is what friends, we share these kinds of things, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, I know it's time because I've been having a difficulty finding the things that I need so I, that's my first cue that um, it's time to clean out. Second of all, when I start to feel like this bag whichever bag, regardless if it's little or a huge one like my Louis Vuitton, when it starts to feel very heavy, I know, okay, it's time. It's time to buckle down and get serious and clean this thing up. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, so my current handbag at the moment is this one by Michael Kors. This is called the Grayson, I believe, is the style. And this is in the, the traditional, like, monogram canvas with the MK and this looks a little bit different than the previous ones that may have been out in several years past because this style of bag is not a new style the other one had the MK where it was just much larger like MK letters and this is much smaller and this is like the upgraded version to that old style and it has the chain it's like a strap that has part of it is chain part of it is um like a leather. So that's kind of what I've been carrying. This thing is heavy. So I do use this bag as a crossbody and I also sometimes put it like in the fold of my arm when I'm, you know, walking into a place really quickly. But I do like it because it has a lot of space for me to put everything that I need in it. And for that reason, it just gets full uh, because it's just one big opening and um, I love it. I do like the MK, um, the, like the Michael Kors name itself with these letters there and I think it's it's small and you can kind of tell when you get really close that it's Michael Kors but from a distance you kind of can't really see what it is I mean if you have Michael Kors bags then you you'll know you obviously uh, recognize it uh, I have a lot of Michael Kors bags that is one of the first like high-end designer brands that I ha started purchasing that and Coach were my first two expensive brands and I have gotten myself one Louis Vuitton since accumulating some Michael Kors things. I've given away some some of my coach things as well that I've had over the years. And all I can say is that the Michael Kors bags, I know this is not a bag review, but all I'm going to say is that their bags are, some of them are expensive. It's my rabbit. Uh, anyway, so this is the bag. They do hold up really well. I've had some of my Michael Kors bags for years and I have used and abused them so badly and they look perfect. And this one also as well, I'm going to just mention if you can find this style and you like it. Um, another selling point for me was at the bottom had um, the little feet so if I had to put it down in a chair I never put my purses it doesn't matter what the brand is or how cheap or how expensive it is I never put my bags on the per on um, my purse bags on the floor <laughs> uh, so anyways let's just go ahead and dig in because this one is super full and I need to change it out before I leave be just forewarned that I don't know what's going to be coming out of this bag. All right, so I don't know if the lighting has changed. It's definitely getting dark outside, but I think holding up this bag might have changed the lighting. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to pull out is my uh, hand sanitizer. I always have this with me. I have a big one from Sam's Club in my uh, car as well that I refill this one. I have multiple sizes, but I always have one with me because germs. I'm not down with that. Um, okay, I have... <laughs> A Nintendo DS. No, this is not mine. This is a 3DS XL. Excuse me. Because um, my son heard me, if he would have heard me say 2DS, he'd be like, Mom, it's a 3DS. <laughs> so it's the Nintendo 3DS XL. He got this for Christmas, and um, somehow I always end up being the one that carries it. He brings it in, but he doesn't want to carry it. I need to make some room here for my stuff. Okay, so uh, my wallet. I also have this Michael Kors wallet, which I absolutely love. It's just so pretty. It's a zip around, has lots of compartments. It also has, I don't know if you can tell, it has a bit of a clasp here where you can actually use it as a wristlet, which is nice. And it's the studded detail on the back, and I love it. It says it has the end cave, that monogram with that um, classic canvas that holds it really well. Again, the same letters for Michael Kors. It's printed on, on the front of the bag, and it's, again, zip around. I'm not a huge fan of gold, but um, most of his bags have a lot of gold on it. And I'll show you, um, without showing you the inside, this is where you can put it um, as a wristlet. You can take it off if you want, which is cool, uh, but it just kind of slides in the center, and then you can zip it, and it's it works fine. It never has an issue with zipping around with that extra piece in there, but you could take it off if you have a style like that, which I would recommend because 
sometimes when you need to just run into the store, you could just kind of take that with you. And I do the same thing with my wallet on chain. I love that because I can use it as a crossbody or take the straps off and then just use it as a regular wallet. So I like that. And that's also Michael Kors thing that I have. All right, so the next thing is this little pouch. This is a lighted vanity mirror. Vanity mirror? No. Lighted compact mirror. I don't know where I got that from. Uh, <laughs> it's cool because uh, you could charge your phone on this. It comes with a little uh, charging USB. And I ordered these off at HSN. I got one for myself, one for my mom, and my sister for the Christmas holiday. And this is supposed to be rose gold. Let's just take a moment to say that this is not rose gold. <laughs> this is not rose gold to me. Uh, this is like a peach, like a shimmery, pearly peach color, but I don't care, whatever. It's a cool mirror because it has the regular um, mirror, but then it's also magnified. But what's even cooler is that it lights up. You're not going to see it because the lighting in here is not dark enough, but when you're in the car at night or whatever and you need to kind of touch up or you're in a bathroom that doesn't have a lot of lighting, you can use this. And it's actually quite bright. It doesn't look bright here, but um, it does get bright. And it comes with a little pouch. You don't need to keep it in the pouch. Mine is like disgusting and I haven't had it for very long, so I think I'm going to have to just um, discard Whoa. discard that pouch um, eventually. My phone, I always have my phone here. I have a marble, faux marble case on it, which I like. This is the 7 Plus. I used to have the regular one, and when I went to this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like a tablet because <laughs> it was so big. But now that I have this, I will never go down to anything smaller. Uh, my husband has a regular one, and when I have to get on it for something, I'm like, why is this thing so small? Like, I need a bigger phone, bigger font. Um, so I love this. And this little black thing, I always forget what these are called, but this one is crap. I bought it off of uh, Amazon for like 8 or $9 because I didn't want to – I wanted to be cheap, and I got what I paid for basically because it doesn't even prop up my phone. So there's no point in having that. Ooh, snacks. <laughs> um – We've got honey cakes, I believe that's what that is, and pocky sticks. That's what he's into. That's what it is. Um, more snacks. I have a Ziploc bag. I always have him get a few little snacks to bring because if I get caught up somewhere or whatever and he's hungry, I have something. You know, kids, little toddlers, they're like that. So he likes these um, mixed berry cereal, mixed berry cereal bars, the 365 Everyday Valley. I think that's a Whole Foods brand. Um, so we, he likes these, a nice little snack that's not super healthy. Um, a empty lollipop stick, great, wonderful. At least it's in the bag here and not in my bag because i have been disappointed there. Uh, he also has a quench gum in Fruit Punch because he swears that when he works out, he has to have his gum. And mind you, my son is five. I swear, going on ten. Um, but yeah, those are his snacks. Oh, and his his sunglasses. Oh, it's just so cute. His little sunglasses. He looks so cute with these. I don't. I just. I I love him so much. These are the Iron Kids. I don't even know where we got these from, but like the Iron. I don't know what the brand is. I don't even know what the style is, but it's Iron Kids, black and red, because he's so cool with that. Oh, I have lots of receipts here. World Market. Oh, he wanted me to buy him a Kinder Egg, so that's what the World Market receipt for Kinder Egg is. Here, Costco receipt for what did I buy? Veggie bites, uh, canned chicken, almond milk, egg whites, mangoes, strawberries, peanut butter, Ziploc bags, fabric softener sheets. Let me just tell you, my entire car smells like fabric sheets, and I've never used the Kirkland brand uh, fabric sheets. I always get like the regular name brand ones, but I decided to try it. And they smell fabulous. I'm using them while I'm doing laundry. Today, oh, quinoa. I bought some quinoa. What else did I buy? Uh, green salad green mix for my rabbit. Okay, um, gloves. Let me show you these. How cute. These are, it says Head, the brand. I don't know. I got these from Costco. These little gloves are adorable and he can have them on and still use his tablet or his 3DS if he's outside and it's cold and it has like little grippy things. I have not seen these um, recently. I think maybe because of the weather change. I don't know, but they snap together so he doesn't lose them. Keeps them in his pocket, which I think is cool. More receipts. What is this for? Sam's Club. I tell you, all I do is shop Sam's Club and Costco all the time. Yes, bananas, blueberries, strawberries. I eat a lot of fruit, so I'm always going to buy fruit. So I have my little... Um, this little pouch with some makeup -y products in there. Oh, I have um, empty gum wrappers. Hey. 
um, gum, Trident White. I still have quite a few of those. And it has a pocket, but there's nothing in the pocket. Oh, another good thing about this purse, and all, most of Michael Kors purses, I believe, have this, is this little uh, chain with a clip for keys. Because I can't tell you how many times I'm, like, doing one of these numbers, where the heck are my keys, and then I panic because I can't find them. I'm like, oh, my God, I lost my keys. Now I don't. So he solved all of my problems for me. Empty, which you probably can't see. Okay, so these receipts, this is just, this is just no. No, no, and no. <laughs> So I'm going to put this bag off to the side here. It feels so much lighter without anything in there. We have this little thing here. Let me see here. So I have some feminine type of things that I don't need to show you because we don't need to go there. Um, Avino. This is the small one that came in a pack from Sam's Club. It was like two big ones and then this one. And I just keep this little one in my purse for my hands, which I have this for my hands as well. The Equate Healing ointment which is supposed to be like the aquaphor stuff but just the walmart store brand and i use this on any little areas like my nose starts to get dry or starts to peel my son my hands i mix it with these two for my hands because my hands get really really dry especially now with the winter i have a hair clip with a hair tie more hair ties apparently one isn't enough you need three <laughs> so there you go oh my business cards um my blotterazzi this is by the Beauty Blender. This is like a nice little touch-up thing. These are so dirty. I need to wash these, so I need to leave these out, actually. But these are good. If you have um, oily skin or you just want to kind of touch up throughout the day, you can. Oh, my Vaseline, because I can't be without. This is just the regular lip therapy, the clear one. Nivea, which I'm almost out of. Actually, I can't even twist it up. I'm pretty much empty, see? So I can throw this away. What else? Oh, my Fenty Beauty. Hey. This is the Fenty Glow. The Universal Lip Luminizer. This stuff is so pretty. It's like a pretty kind of sparkly peach. But when you put it on, it doesn't really show up much as far as color. But it's really pretty, like super glossy. Um, my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Pencil. This is the Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, which I love. And that's why I keep it in my purse. Been doing these two a lot because it's an amazing combo. Uh, oh, this is another thing. The L'Oreal Infallible, the number 314. You guys know I love this stuff. I talked about it in my favorite lip products for 2017. This is the Spicy Blush, and I decided to put it in there because I love it. Another hand cream. Apparently two is not enough, so three is the name of the game for this video, right? <laughs> Fresh Cream by Philosophy. Oh gosh, I have problems. The Philosophy, um, I had gotten a set of these for Christmas, and I gave one to my mom and my sister, and I kept the Fresh Cream scented one because I liked it. Um, I have a comb. I think my husband might have gotten this from a barbershop, but we keep it to tame my son's hair. This Bite Beauty Lip Product, this is the Liquefied Lip, is that what it's called? In Chutney, I think this was a 100 point perk or something like that from Sephora. Love the formula of that, and that color is actually really pretty. Another lipstick, the Naked Lipstick by Urban Decay, which I've had this in here for a very long time. It's a pretty pink color, goes with everything. So I've got lots of lip products. Two more lip products. The Shea Moisture Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Shea Butter Vegan Lip Balm. Replenish and Rejuvenate. It looks like this. You can get them at Target, um, any health food stores that carries the Shea. What is it? Shea Moisture. I like this, but this stuff is so incredibly thick. Like you really have to squeeze really, really hard. And you only get just a teensy amount that comes through. So that kind of annoys me. Um, with the Vaseline one, it's like you squeeze it and you get a lot of product that comes out. And it's like done. The other lip product, is that my last one? Yes. Is the Beige Pop um, Lipstick. This is the Clinique Pop Lip Color. And I actually like this. This was from the Clinique and Jonathan Adler. I got this when I was living in Tennessee. This is a beautiful shade. However, the last month that I was in Tennessee, for whatever reason, every time I put this on, I broke out in a hive. Like hives like around my lip, which is the most bizarre thing. So I have not worn this since then. I haven't worn it at all, and I've been here in Colorado for four months already. I think I'm going to sanitize it with some alcohol and then try it again and see if it's something in here because Clinique products work really well with my skin, and I never have issues. But this, I don't know what it was. It was just the first few times it was fine, no big deal. Loved it. It was like, oh, my gosh, this is the best lipstick. And then I started getting issues. But I had a lot of issues in Tennessee with, like, allergies and stuff, so that could be it. And then I have two bobby pins. Do I have a third? Come on. Don't let me down, bobby pins. Nope. Three hair ties, two bobby pins. That's it. 
that is everything in here. I'm going to start putting everything back. This little bag was a free gift with purchase uh, last year, I think, with Clinique. If you bought something, you got this. So I need to get a nicer one, like a pretty one, uh, to go better in my purse. But this is just one that I have right now. I have a few different little baggies, but I don't know if Michael Kors sells the little makeup bags. Like little pouches. I think so. If he does, then I'm going to probably get one eventually for myself. Let's just put all this stuff back in here. Most of this stuff can stay, I think. <laughs> that's everything that's in my bag. As you guys can tell, um, I have a lot of junk. <laughs> I have a lot of junk, but I also have a lot of stuff, like kitty stuff, because I have a mom. And um, I have a toddler. So that's what my purses end up being. A pile of receipts, several lip products, lots of hair ties, and... Kitty snacks. That's it. That's all that I always carry in my purses, and it's just ridiculous. And I'm just thinking to myself, why do I let it get to this point where it is so incredibly full, this bag that is so heavy that it's like, you feel like you're kind of like lopsided because it's so much stuff. But I hope this was kind of fun for you guys to be with me while I cleaned out my purse and realized I've got some major cleaning to do in this purse. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was kind of different. I did one of these I think a long time ago with my travel little backpack that I use when I travel and I think I pretty much had the same thing happen. I, I don't think I learned my lesson with these types of things. <laughs> it just is like a pit of things. It just accumulates. Like, hello, leave me in the comments if you have the same problem because I know, or at least I think I can't be the only person that has this problem. And if I am, then well. <laughs> oh well. So thank you guys so much for being here for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for subscribing. If you are a subscriber, if you're not, please subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Have a great day. You can follow me on social media if you're interested in seeing my life off camera. It's here on the screen as always. Have a great day. Bye-bye.